Welcome back everyone! Welcome back again to Let's Play American Truck Simulator. We're still transporting the really heavy 43 tons milling machine to Ogden. And we're... Well, we're almost there. We're almost there. So we should be getting there. Soon. Enough. Ish. Let's see. There's a truck in front of us. He might start breaking quite a bit. We did uh, reduce trailer stability. Ooh. Yeah, we did reduce trailer stability and such, so we gotta be careful about that. Kind of go through the corners just so uh, with such wild abandon as before. Oh, is it a double lane? No, it's only on the other side. And anyway, we don't have enough power to try and overtake this guy. Oh wow. Can actually overtake him, you know? Interesting. Almost thought that truck over there that just passed us had red lights in the front. Are we climbing a little bit? I'm not gaining any speed, despite the fact that I've got my foot jammed on the, on the throttle. Does that. Okay. Can I actually go right? That wasn't a very good use of the blinkers by the way because I used them just before an exit and that can give people the wrong idea I hate when people do that when they use a, the right blinker for example to go right but they're going right after like half a mile and they're passing loads of exits and such it really confuses you if you're behind them and I just don't think it's a very safe thing to do in a way because then people will get impatient behind you if you do that are going to try and overtake, yada yada yada. And it might also start road ragers. Wow, this is this is very cool actually. Gotta be careful with braking here. Oh please don't brake that much. Oh, he's actually going right. I'm falling the brakes. Oh Okay. Well, like I said, I reduced I reduced the braking intensity, so that was... Well, let me explain. I know I'm all over the place with my commentary. Uh, yeah, that was... I had exhaust brake on, on full, I had full retarder on, I was downshifting, and I had to slam on my actual mechanical brakes. However, despite the fact that I did reduce the intensity of the brakes, so that means we have less braking power, even if I slam on them, you do have to remember my situation with the pedals uh, because how I explained in one of the previous episodes they, they have a tendency to move because of how they're designed um, they move on the rug a little bit uh, not only do I sometimes do that when I press on a pedal hard I can move the entire thing instead of fully depressing the pedal but What's worse is that, even though this really is a plus, these pedals have a pretty good mechanical feel, and the brakes are actually really fairly stiff compared to, oh, well, my trailer at the back is really close. The brake pedal is actually really stiff compared to a lot of other pedals you can get for gaming, which is good because it gives you a more authentic feel. Like there's actual, you know, um, like a vacuum line there doing the job but <laughs> the bad side is is of course if you if you try to slam on them oh, what am I doing jeez if you try to slam on them on them they will uh, you have much more of a chance to actually push the pedals away from you <laughs> wow I am bad at explanations aren't I this is a really interesting place here I love it What's going on here? Colorado River. We actually have some heavy-ish traffic. What's that? Is that a church? I'm not really sure what that is. It's like apartments. Go straight. Okay. Oh yeah, you can actually go left here. What? Left here where? That's really cool. 
This place is so cool. I love it. Ooh. I'm gonna take this a little bit wide. Or wider. Power! Sorry, man, but I'm gonna try to overtake you here, despite the fact that that's a stupid idea. And now he's on full throttle as well, of course. Schneider National WDR TO 1881. Power! It's gonna be tight. But we made it! We won! <laughs> this is such a cool road. We're gonna be going right there. I better start braking now because... We're quite heavy. Stay left, and then turn left. That was pretty good. Didn't have to uh, use my brakes at all. Alrighty. Freeway entrance. Oh, so this is a freeway. Power! I don't think I'll be going from 4 high here on this ramp. Nope. Not losing speed though. go starting to gain yeah Selena West you know the AI cheats they can go through these uh, roadblocks that I can't <laughs> drive safely obey speed limit don't drink and drive buy ice cream ice cream is life All right, we've got four hours to go, in-game, of course. Until we deliver this load. And it's 80 speed limit here. It's fine with me. You know, if you look at the left rearview mirror, it kind of looks like there's a truck following close behind because of that giant milling machine. Oh, train! Hello, train. Which is sort of popping in as we go. Stay right, and then exit right. Please don't, please don't break so much. Exit right. I know he's gonna break because there's a yield. Come on, please, please. Don't break so much. I didn't look into the mirrors, that was just a disaster as far as uh, driving goes. <laughs> but I didn't want to lose my momentum. Oh, that's cool, we're actually going over the rail tracks, over the train. That's nice. Power! More power! It kind of looks like it might start raining, but I'm not sure. Oh, blown tire. Okay, so here's a question to all of you watching. What is the craziest thing you've seen on the road yourself? What has been the craziest thing, like a crash that you've witnessed, or or road raging, or uh, or freak weather? Um, so what was what was the craziest you've ever experienced? It doesn't matter if you were driving or not, if you were on a bus or if if you know whatever. But I just want to hear interesting stories. Let me think about it. If, if I talk about the weather, for example, one of the craziest things I've experienced was uh, 
when I was much younger, I must have been like 20 or something, 21, and I was uh, driving in the capital city over here, uh, you know, nothing special, and there was a bit of traffic, blah blah blah, it, it looked overcast, it looked like it would start raining, <coughs> excuse me, stay left, and then all of a sudden, well not quite all of a sudden, but it happened very quickly, there was just a downpour of truly epic proportions, and I'm not just saying that to be overly dramatic, we have some pretty heavy rain here, and a lot of the times when it's what we would consider just light-ish rain, some people say, oh my god, uh, that's some crazy rain, and I'm like, no, that's, that's normal. So, I want you to fully understand my meaning when I say that I'm used to pretty heavy rains, and that I call that a downpour of truly epic proportions. I have never experienced that before, and I think it was only once in my life that I've ever experienced rain like that. The, the skies have turned pretty much black in, in the span of a few minutes. So, you know, it went from daytime to practically nighttime, and then the rain started. I, I cannot quite describe the downpour. I'm sure it ha absolutely happens in other parts of the world as well, but that was insane. It was so much rain that I, I, if I had my wipers on full, the fastest setting possible, you had so much water on the windscreen or the windshield. Um, it, 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 it was just, like I said, indescribable. There was so much rain that you would not see past the first half of the car right in front of you. And it was bumper to bumper traffic pretty much. Uh, because of heavy, heavy-ish traffic. I kid you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, I kid you not. It was insane. Insane rain. It only lasted for a few minutes. But I had never before experienced, or never experienced it afterwards, rain like that. Come on, my dudes. So that was my... What was that maneuver? That's weird. Falling rock. So that was my freak weather occurrence. That was just once in my lifetime that I've experienced that. It was insane. Like I said, it was pretty much nighttime. Loads of rain. And then after a few minutes, it sort of cleared up. Not, not into a sunny, bright day, but... You know, certainly not as bad as before. That was my freak weather occurrence. What else? Um, I didn't really... Oh, yeah. Sort of a traffic accident, you could call. But when I was a kid, I distinctly remember I loved to ride my bicycle and then get to this little small embankment. It was... I don't know. It was like a four meter tall embankment near the road. Near one of the major roads here. So what I like to do, I rode my bike on top of it. You know, it was, it was a fairly wide thing, so it was quite safe to be up there. I mean, fully safe. Um, but I like to do that and then just watch the traffic a little bit. If I was bored, you know, I looked at all, I watched at all the cars watched at all the cars. What kind of English was that? I watched all the cars and such. Oh, jeez. Should have anticipated that more. Babbling. Anyway, I was watching the cars, and the reason why I liked that little hill was not only was it a major road there, it, it was also an intersection. So there was always something fairly interesting happening, if not overly dramatic. But, at that point it was evening, and I remember seeing this tractor... Oh! What? Right. Nice. 
Where was the bloody camera? Where's the Continue. There was a tractor because uh, back when I was younger, that area had quite a few fields. Now it's a lot of it has been built over, but that still had a lot of fields around, and there were the occasional tractors that uh, rode past or drove past. And I remember these two crazy people, completely insane. It was one guy in the tractor driving it. And the tractor was pulling a hay trailer. And the the hay trailer Go straight. Oh, whoa, whoa. I thought I had a green Jeez. I'm making quite a lot of mistakes now. That's not good. And that hay trailer was absolutely chock full of hay. In a way that it was um it was sort of, you know, overflowing almost on the top. But that wasn't really the crazy part, you know, hay, nothing's gonna happen. It wasn't in bales or anything like that. It was just loose hay and it wasn't going anywhere. If, if a little bit of a wind knocked a few of the... Uh, a few sticks of hay or whatever you'd call that off, no biggie. However, on top of the hay <laughs> was a guy sitting there. I kid you not. And... I distinctly remember looking at him, thinking like, wow, that's a bit dangerous, isn't it? And I also remember how back then, as a kid, I remembered, wait a second, whenever I see cars driving over this part of the road here, it's a little Stay bumpy. Right. Because the road isn't fully straight, right? So, that tractor guy is going full speed, whatever that was, was like, what? 40 kilometers per hour or something. It wasn't one of those newer tractors that can go insane speeds. But anyway, yeah, he went full speed over that bumpy part. And of course, the inevitable happened. The trailer at the back got very bouncy because it had a lot of volume on the load, but not a lot of weight on the load. And it started bouncing, and the guy on top of the hay just started bouncing with the hay, and then he started bouncing on top of the hay, as in, you know, he started jumping there. And inevitably, uh, on like the fourth bounce, it actually threw him off and onto the road. Um, that was not a nice thing to see. Fortunately, I, I, he didn't land on his head or anything. I do think he broke something though but yeah the car at the back stopped the tractor stopped there at the front uh they call the the ambulance and all that but i mean it's just insane why would you do that why would you think that was a good idea i can sort of understand it if you want if you want to be silly if you want to sit on top of the hay stack and drive very slowly i don't know through a forest or something or through property that you own but going on the bloody public roads doing that <laughs> it's just insane i don't know anyway that's that's two of the more freaky occurrences i had and the third one is not so freaky but it's just well life i was uh, again i was pretty young i was I think it was like 19 or 20, driving my car, again, in the capital. Because, uh, that's where I attended, uh, university and such. And, um, yeah, it was a two-lane road on both sides. Well, two lanes on one, two lanes on the other. Stay left. And, uh... The cars in front of me slowly stopped because there was a line in front of a traffic light, so I came to a stop as well. And on the right, there were roadworks, so the, the right lane was closed. And what happened was, I stopped at the, uh, at the traffic jam, you know, just listening to the radio, thinking to 
thinking about my own stuff. And then I see in the rear view mirror, there was no time to react. I see in the rear view mirror this uh, minivan. Oh, jeez. It didn't tell me about a detour. Come on, man! Step on it! Fine. Jeez. That's realistic as well. People being just not knowing what to do. Uh, anyway. Reboot. Oh, it does have to reroute. That's not good. So yeah, I see this minivan coming in at speed towards me. Not really appearing to brake until the last second. I just hear screeching of tires. And then it was just a bang. Yeah, he did... Uh, a fair bit of damage to my car in the back, but because it was the back, and he hit my car with his front, obviously, his car was, wow, I think it was pretty much totaled, totaled, and, uh, stay right, and then exit right, yeah, it's not a very nice experience, especially because, uh, exit right, I wasn't a very experienced driver myself back then, stay left, and then turn left, anyway, Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really hope you're enjoying this. Like how you're playing it. And let me know about your experiences. So, have a good one. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.